Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. So I was planning on giving this album a few more listens to like really give a really good review of it. But uh, I'm sure as everyone knows, the Bay Hurricane is gonna hit Texas and it's most likely gonna, you know, I live in Austin, so it's more like central Texas than like the coast or anything like that. So like not like, that's not gonna be like super severe for me, but there is supposed to be some power outages and other um, just random weather related things supposed to go on this weekend. So I figured why not just film it now while I'm on my lunch break from work. But because I'm doing that, um, I won't be able to like edit it and make it all pretty and, and perfect like I usually do with my videos. So this is just gonna be off the top of my head, unedited thoughts on Paris's new album, All We Know of Heaven, All We Need of Hell. So this has been super long awaited by Paris fans. I know I've been super, 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 super excited about it. Um, it was supposed to be released August 4th. It got pushed back a couple weeks, which really didn't make much of a difference because they released so many songs before the album, you know, and th that could like, that. I don't see a scenario where that actually helps a band out, especially when it's only a 10 track album, um, you know, but I was really, excited for this record regardless of all the singles that they put out because every single they put out i absolutely like love you know they they really started off with heaven first single right off the bat it was released like a week after fallout boys uh, young and menace was you know released and i liked heaven more <laughs> than young and menace and i was like this is crazy like you know my favorite band ever released a song that i don't like as much but Paris is like probably my second or third favorite band and like I was just in love with it I I think the replay on that the replay button was just broken from overplaying heaven constantly I loved that song. I still love that song. I don't listen to it as much anymore because I did replay the crap out of it but I made awesome song and then you know later they released what's wrong which is just a really awesome combination of pop and rock and um, you know, alternative, hardcore, it was just, like, just so, like, so pleasant, it was such a pleasant listen for people, I guess, like us, who like the alternative scene, but want to see something different, and this was something that I was very excited about, I was like, wow, like, I have never heard a song like this, I love it, this is great, I was just stoked, and then Half was released, like, a week later, but I believe Half was released because it was leaked, um, so I don't know if they were gonna release it as soon as they they did, but I know it was leaked and I had actually heard half live when I went to see them um, when they opened for 30 seconds to Mars and um, Muse I actually got to see half live so I already kind of knew a little bit of it and I was really excited about it because that song was right up my alley it reminded me of 2005 pop punk in a way um, it was I love that song that's definitely one of my favorites on the album. Um, after Half was released, Winter was released, and that, I do like that song a lot, but I feel like it's a little bit more generic than their other ones, like, I, it's just kind of a more generic pop song to me. I do enjoy it, I do love the lyrical content, um, the replay factor is still huge for me, because it just came out a few weeks ago, I love it, and then Anyone Else came out, um, I think that song, just the atmosphere that it creates, it gives me chills when I listen to it. I love that song and the, you know the thing is like it's not even like a favorite I've seen online from people like Lynn said it's one of her favorites but like you know listeners haven't really been gravitating towards it like I thought I love it I relate to it um I even sent it to my sister I'm like Shan you have to listen to this song it's so great I think you would love it never heard anything back you know so maybe it's just me I just love that song um that's probably another one of my favorites so you know those are all the singles I was really 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 stoked for this album to come out it came out um, last night at midnight in the States anyway. I know it was out earlier for people in other countries, but I just, I don't know, like, if all the hype was gone from all of the singles that were released. Like, I, I was still excited, and I listened to Walk Alone. I didn't really keep my attention, to be honest. Like, maybe I just need a few more listens with that one, but I thought it was, like, it's okay. Um... Same soul, same kind of vibe. I thought it was. I thought it was all right. Um, I liked the how the stylistic was. Di the stylist. The, the, oh, goodness. Okay, I can't even edit that out. But this the style um, change in that song. I think was needed for the album to make it flow better because you know as some other reviewers have been saying that you know it kind of feel they kind of some of the songs kind of blend together, which I do kind of see, especially with Walk Alone and Nola One. 
I don't know. Maybe I just need to listen to them more. I just kind of, they, no, they didn't really spark anything, like all the singles that they released. But then I listened to No Mercy and oh my gosh, like that song is, that's probably my favorite song on the record. And I've only probably listened to it like four or five times now. But I am in love with that song. Like that is like the let them in of this album. And I am, re I just love it. I love it so much. That's going to be super high replay for me. And, you know, just to hear that live when I see them in on tour, I'm, that is definitely my favorite song on the album. It's probably not the most unique song on the album, but it's just a good old alternative rock song. And that's, you know, my roots. That's what I love. So, so glad they put something like that on this album. Um, Separate is another deep cut that I really, really like. Um, out of all of the deep cut, out of all of the deep cuts on the album, I'd say Separate is my favorite. I think it is the most unique and I think, um, it's, it has a very catchy melody to it. Um, that's definitely one of the, my favorite new ones. Um, yeah, and I think that's, I think I, I think I talked about them all, but, <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so I really, really, really like this album. I think it was, um, you know, a step up from White Noise. And I've seen some reviews of people who are like saying that this is completely different than White Noise when I don't see how you can think that. Like they're like, oh, they're going more pop. I just don't know how you can even say that because White Noise had its share of pop songs and White Noise had its share of alternative songs. You know, like, you know, for example, like Half, Heaven, and No Mercy are probably more of the alternative songs. And then on, um, white noise it would be fire let them in in my house you know there's like three deep cuts on white noise three deep cuts on this one like they're not it's not it definitely is an evolution of their sound but i wouldn't say it's a complete stray from their sound they're still you know picking pieces of different genres to put in different songs so when you're listening to it it doesn't just sound like one genre to me it kind of sounds like a mixture of everything and that's why i like paris because they could you know write a killer pop song they could write a pop song and put some screaming in it you know they can write a like an awesome alternative um alternative rock song you know if anybody listened to their old eps back in the day they did post hardcore amazingly white noise um you know, has this basically the same type of elements that this one has. It's just, they just seem more mature. I think Lynn's lyrics are insane. Like if you actually like take a lyric book or go online and just read the, read through the album as it's playing, some of these lyrics are so good and so catchy and just it's like relatable, you know. And I and I think you that she is giving pieces to us through these lyrics and you can kind of see the pain that she went through and if anybody like follows the band they know Lynn went through some things you know as she was writing this so this is probably a, like a look into her soul and it's some of these lyrics are just haunting and just they just make you think and I miss music like that where the lyrics are at a third grade reading level like I'm sorry but oh my gosh like I even if even songs that I'm not necessarily in love with yet the lyrical content is just insane and magical i guess in a way but yeah i don't like i like you guys know i'm not an album reviewer so i might have just you know rambled on and on not really made a lot of sense but overall um if i had to you know give it a rating out of five i would say that this album is definitely a four to 4.5 out of five i don't i don't see many things wrong with it and i've you know i'm not like a young kid i've listened to a lot of music um, I don't really understand the negative, the negative, the negativity stuff it's getting. I think people expect, I don't know what people expect, honestly, because, you know, aside from like underground, you know, rock bands, bands that are getting any type of exposure aren't making music like this. And it makes me happy to see bands that are still want to make rock music and still want to experiment, still want to create new things. And I think Paris is definitely on that track. All right, well... Um, that's going to be it for this video. Let me know your thoughts on um, the record in the comments. Let me know what your favorite songs are. What songs do you think you need a little bit, you know, time to warm up to? Because, um, you know, even when I first listened to White Noise all the way through, there was a few songs that I needed some time to warm up to. Um, one of them was Holy, surprisingly. Like, that's, like, that song is great. But it took me a while to warm up to it. And Ghost. That's probably my least favorite song on White Noise, but I do like it. I know every word to it when they play it live. 
I can scream the words to it, you know, like just because it's not a song I connect with yet doesn't mean I won't in the future. And I want everyone to keep that in mind when you're listening to any kind of music. Like don't write it off on the first listen because how many times is your favorite, how many times that you have a favorite song was, became your favorite song on the first listen? Probably not very often. So just always have an open mind. I don't know, I shouldn't like preaching to you guys now. But anyway, I hope you guys are all having a great day. And anybody who's in Texas, please stay safe um, from the storm. It's gonna be scary and bad. Um, just, I'll, I'm praying for all of y'all. Um, I'm in Texas, but I sh it's, I'm not on the coast, but y'all on the coast, hopefully you evacuated like you're supposed to, but if you didn't, that's bad. I'm, I'm sure you, I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, <laughs> that's gonna be it for this video. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.